contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring first. From Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Christy James. Well, Christy James, as you can see there on the Chiron, making her AEW debut, the Brazilian Brutal. As she is known, she has trained extensively in Mexico, Mexico City, including with uh, two of AEW Tag Team Division Zone, Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. Yeah, absolutely. This young lady, I'm excited to, to watch her compete. I'll tell you what, she's got great footwork already just watching the dance. From Clearwater, Florida, Whoa. Big Swole. 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 Love that. Chad, you learned Swole. all the lyrics Swole. to her song. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Big fan of this young lady, man. Her energy, man. Her fire. She just comes out ready to go. She just feels it. She you know, just grabs it from the, the live audience. Exciting to watch. Hell of an athlete. Yeah, and big things. Definitely in store for school in the AEW Women's Division. Big things, that is, if she can get past Christy James. What about Christy James, as you mentioned about her touring, her, her training and wrestling all over the world, from, from Mexico to Japan, here in the United States. I mean, you can see her poised in this young lady here. Christy James, she is not impressed at all by Big Swole. And again, poise is the word that jumps out when you look at her facial expressions. Yeah, very. Very focused, very good poise, or very good poker face. You know, when you're on a on a big stage like this well, here. About, that's not a poker face, though. She's just kind of chilling, right? Uh, <laughs> Lazy boy city right there. Straight chilling, I believe, <laughs> is the technical term. Well, you're a West Coast guy. I guess that's how that would go. <laughs> and Christy James, big swole. About to get underway. Referee Paul Turner drawing the duties for this matchup. Swole. Showing off her power. Yeah, good strong but, lock. Oh, look, look at that, James, though. Absolutely. Both ladies trying to jockey for position. And a lockup, a good old-fashioned lockup a lot of times is a good way to test what your opponent has. Underrated all lockups, in my opinion, in professional wrestling. And we just saw a tight one by both these ladies. Yeah, it is uh, technically known as a collar and elbow because, quite literally, you would grab your opponent's collar and elbow in right. grappling. Well, a lot of times you're taught to grab the bicep too. Some grip, some grab the back of the neck and the bicep or the trap, the collar also. You know, there's different ways to do it, but the strength, as you know, that mm -hmm. you could feel it in your opponent on a, on a lockup or a collar and elbow tie-up. Because it's it's not only testing your upper body, but also your lower body, your, totally. your, your ability yep. to push the pile, as it were. Oh, look at that side headlock takeover there by Swole. And James, good, good heads up maneuver, getting her oh, shoulders nice. off the this. canvas. And she hooked that leg, got a quick near fall on Big Swole, did Christy, Christy James. Tight headlock, as you said, and look at that. There. Good job by Christy breaking her opponent by, but a crook of the knee, uh, and then floats over, gets her own headlock. Takes the side headlock. I believe James had another collar and elbow tie-up. Could really change the composure of this matchup. The big swole, again, keeps bringing the fight. Okay, she's going to keep on with those elbows to the ribs, and uh, again, they're not, you can just tell this. <laughs> oh, swole. Whoa. Swole brought it. Well, she's a former track and field athlete. She can got that first step explosion. Look at how quick she is. And now, look at that. Christy James went for the, the hip toss, but Swole finds it. Swole able to block it. And take Christy James up and over the top. Swole maybe underestimating her opponent, giving her an opportunity to recover Taz. Mm. Could be. I mean, I think that Swole wants wants to get Christy James in the middle of the ring here, potentially for a test of strength. Yeah, that... I'm a little surprised at that, too, but she's got a game plan to Swole, so let's see. Yeah, Swole does pride herself on being perhaps the strongest member of the AEW Women's Division, and she is showing it off right now. Now, Irish whip into the corner. James staggered out and eats a lariat. Yeah, big, strong lariat. Clo run running with that, again, that explosion, that, that foot speed by Swole helps bring that heavy-duty, strong clothesline. And now Swole. Charging into the corner, James escapes, but walks right into a back elbow. Well, it was smart of James to roll roll out of the corner, which was look at that. Oh, look at that step up into the NZ Gary. Well, shades of a, a Ray Phoenix right there, who helped train her, as you mentioned earlier. And James can't afford to allow Swole an opportunity to recover, and she identified that by bringing Swole back up to the to the apron. 
That was impressive, man. That's hard to do. That had that kind of balance on those ropes, the way she ran those ropes, Christy James, very impressive. Yeah, only a handful of people in the, I think, in the world have, have that type of balance and, uh, and agility. And you're exactly right. Ray Phoenix is one of them. Ooh. Christy James also, and the kick to the back. She's cocky as heck, uh, this young lady from Brazil. I, I'm impressed with it, though. I like that, getting in the head of her opponent, playing games with a little bit. I mean, I. Oh, I, look at that oh, with wow. a handful wow. of the hair. Snapman with the hair. Turner it. Admonishing Christy James about the hair pull. She apologized, though. I think it was a little half-hearted, Taz. Yeah, she's definitely got a, an arrogance about her and a, oh. a uh, definitely a cockiness does uh, Christy James have. But Swole, with a lot of power in those legs, ran right into that knee lift to the midsection. Yeah, that definitely stopped Swole of a track. But then, again, like I said, Swole keeps fighting, always swinging and putting that open hand slap. Oh, and the headbutt head to, to the, the gut. Yeah. Midsection, the uppercut. Knox James back Ooh. and all the headbutt to the Ooh. jaw. Ooh. She charges Whoa. in. Bandera sends Big Swole up and over the top. A wild right hand thrown by James oh. in the right roundhouse from Swole. Chris James is Oh, man, she's down and out now. And Big Swole in the driver's seat in this matchup. Listen to these people here in Austin, Texas. They're loving Swole. Jane's desperately fighting her way. Oh, yeah, what a shot. And now the rip guard. Rip Jones. Dirty oh. dancing from Big Swole. One, two, three. The winner of this match, Big Swole. 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 After that dirty dancing, Taz. An intangible move. She noticed how close Christy Jane's hand was to the bottom rope. We saw her change the position, even though she hit that knockout blow. Those fundamentals speak so well to yeah. Big Swole's future here in AEW. I completely agree with you. Well said, my friend Excalibur, but let's not take nothing away from this young lady, Christy James. She was in for the fight of her life, as the cliche goes. She did a hell of a job out there, but Big Swole was too much for her. But great matchup. I thought I enjoyed it, but my both ladies. I think another collar in Elmo's time could have turned the tables on Swole. You never know. But it remains to be seen, but Big Swole. I got one word for you, brother. Swole. Swole. Can't, can't say it any better than that. Let's send it back to our friend, Tony Schiavone. Speaking of big Swole. <laughs>